Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Chairman. In this session, we will discuss about scrollable cursor. And also we will cover one keyword which is next, fetch next. Okay. So first of all, we will discuss why uh, we use this scrollable cursor. So to explain this, I will show you one data from my table. So here I'm running one query, select star from sharmit1 slash emppf, where sharmit1 is my library name and emppf is my table name. So if I hit enter, you can see it contained two column, employee ID and age. For time being, just focus on the first column. Now suppose we want to fetch the data from this uh, column, but at the same time we want to move uh, or fetch the data from both directions, means from top, uh, from bottom to top and from top to bottom. So in short, you can say that a scrollable cursor is a cursor which is bi-directional cursor. With the scrollable cursor, we can read the data in bi-directional mode, like in top mode also, in uh, bottom way also, okay? So this is the advantage of using scrollable cursor. Now scrollable cursor comes with different different keywords like patch next, patch prior. So one by one we will discuss each thing. In this session we are going to cover uh, the fetch next thing. So now I will walk you through this code. So here what I am doing, I have declared one constant which is SQL state and underscore valid with 5 times 0 and this constant we will use to store the output uh, sorry this constant we will use to verify the query and uh, by checking the SQL state uh, SQL statement status we will verify it and we will uh, proceed accordingly then we have declared one variable which is w underscore id of zone type 9 okay and this variable we will use to store the output which we are retrieving from the query Afterwards, we have set the option commit equals to star none and here we are using the main declaration part. So like normal cursor, scrollable cursor will also take four process, mainly four process, opening, uh, declaring the cursor, opening the cursor, fetching the data from the cursor and then closing the cursor. Okay, so let's discuss one by one. So here on line number 24, we are executing SQL to declare the cursor. So here you can see declare get data which is my cursor name we just added this new keyword which is a scroll once you add this scroll keyword it will become your scrollable cursor and this is again a keyword cursor for and this is the query so to verify this query just copy this part and run it over the SQL so this is the best trick to identify whether you are executing the correct query or not so this is what we are expecting so you can see it is uh, declared now okay so only thing we changed here is we add this scroll keyword previously we were using declare get data cursor for select employee id from shanmit1 slash emppf but this time we have also include this scroll keyword which will make it a scrollable cursor once scroll cursor is declared then we will use the we will open the cursor so same process for opening just use exact sql open your cursor name so it will open the cursor then here we are fetching the data from the cursor for that i am running one do while loop where sql state is equal to sql state underscore valid fetch sql uh, exec sql and here i am using so you can see if here just after opening the cursor we are running the SQL uh, we are running one loop based on the SQL state returned from the S opening cursor right so first time it will enter here and then we are running another query fetch next so this is the keyword next so what it will do it will pick the next record from the file one by one next from the get data into and this is my host variable w underscore id so it will fetch the data one by one and like by default the keyword uh, which is set is uh, means you can say this is the by default keyword okay whenever we are not providing any keyword for fetching then it will automatically take the next keyword because this is the by default keyword then it will fetch the data into the host variable after that we are checking for SQL state again if it is not equal to valid then we will simply leave the loop otherwise we will print the loop so you can see we are printing the value inside a loop 
and after that we are doing endo and then setting the executing the SQL with uh, for closing the cursor so uh, here I'm closing the cursor and just make sure that every time whenever you are uh, declaring the cursor opening the cursor fetching the data from the cursor just after that you should close the cursor otherwise your problem uh, your code uh, may result into the problems right then you are setting the NLR to star on so let's quickly compile this program and call it so you can see it is printing 50 20 1 and 90 which is same as our column you can see although you can fetch multiple columns as well as we discussed in our previous session but for time being I'm just uh, using one column to explain all the keywords so this is how we can you uh, declare the scrollable cursor and for scrollable cursor we have also covered one keyword which is next and this is the by default keyword for fetching the data in the next session we will discuss few more things so yeah that's all for this thank you for watching TechShareMath